Okay, guys, so Angel Reese, we're going to get into this explosive live stream that she did in a second, but she kept her NIL deals from when she was in college. In college, Angel Reese was making $1.8 million a year. Name, image, and likeness. Among those endorsements were Tops, baseball cards, sports cards, Airbnb, short-term rentals, Reebok sneakers, Tampax, and Beat by Dre headphones. Okay? So she kept all of that. And she has more. She has garnered more. You saw the Reese's PCs um, collab she's doing. So you see that she has her own um, merch store with Reese's PCs where she's selling merch. Um, you know, jerseys, 99 bucks, hoodies, 79 bucks, T-shirts, 49 bucks. Um, I haven't gotten no sales report on none of this stuff. I don't know how it's doing, but this is just the first rollout they have um, for her. So she's pushing stuff. She's pushing products, okay? Um, she's making money, okay? A ton of money. So the average... Annual salary for a WNBA player is around $119,000. With the highest paid players earning approximately $252,000. The WNBA salary structure is tiered with fourth tier players earning around $56,000 and core players earning around $242,000. So, as we saw the rookies, Caitlin Clark, she's making like $76,000 a year. Angel Reese is making about something around that. So these, these girls are broke in, in the athletic world. Okay? If you worked at Chipotle in, in certain states where you make about $18, $18 an hour minimum wage, and you worked every day, six days a week, let's just say, and you did some overtime, you could make $76,000 a year. Time and a half of overtime, you know, got you a little part-time job on the side. You could make $76,000. These, these girls are broke in the athletic realm. They're the brokest athletes out there. And Caitlin Clark came in and now things are looking up, but hold on. Not so fast. They they about to have a lockout, and that lockout is going to be very interesting because the owners are not going to give them what they think they're worth. They're going on strike basically this off season. It's going to be very interesting. But let's get to Angel Reese's controversial live stream. And keep hanging. I love when I do that. What do you say? Hate and paste the bills. Hate and paste them bills, baby. I just hope y'all know. The WNBA don't pay my bills at all. I don't even think that pays one of my bills. <laughs> Literally. I'm trying to think of like my rent for where I stay at. Let me do the math real quick. He might cover that. Yeah, he is covers it, that. He definitely it, covers that. What is my... I don't even know my salary. 74? Okay. Times... Here, I'll do it. Yeah. So I think she's with her handler or her um, personal assistant. And <laughs> the fact that she has a personal assistant is just crazy because those WNBA players, they cannot afford a personal assistant, okay? They can't afford that, okay? 
The salary of a personal assistant can vary depending on experience, location, and skill level. Here are some salary ranges for personal assistants. Entry-level personal assistants make around $23,000 per year, while experienced personal assistants can make over $80,000. The average salary is over $50,000 per year. So <laughs> let's just say she's got a good, because she makes a lot of money, and she's, she's, she's got good people behind her, and she's hooked up with, you know, really um, good management groups. Um, let's just say she, she got an $80,000 personal assistant. That's more than the other players, many of the other players in the league make a year. Her personal assistant makes more than many of her WNBA counterparts. I don't even know what to Does it? Does it? You don't even... <laughs> Yo, I'm living beyond my means. <laughs> it's like, um. <laughs> no, my rent is more than that. It's eight thousand. <laughs> I'm living beyond my means, like y'all think, babe. If y'all thought, mm -mm. it's like, let me stop. Down. So eight thousand would make her rent ninety. Six thousand dollars a year. <laughs> so between personal assistant <laughs> and rent, she makes almost what Asia Wilson makes. Asia Wilson makes two hundred thousand dollars a year. I don't, even, I don't even know my salary for WNBA. That WNBA check don't pay a thing. Did I even pay my corner? <laughs> Angel baby, let me just say this. As a dude that's old enough to be your father, I'm old enough to be your daddy, man. Um, I'm old enough to be your grandfather, too. It depends on how it worked out if I <laughs> uh but Angel, baby. These other girls in the league give you a level of grace because we know they're haters. We know the Candace Wiggins stories. We know Candace Park. We know um, Kelsey Plum. A lot of girls throughout the years, even before Caitlin, have spoken on it, but we saw it in full force this year with Caitlin. And they give you a level of grace because you were the one, the sister girl that was going to, you know, go at Caitlyn and, you know, go against Caitlyn and be give Caitlyn a run for her money. You know what I'm saying? So they gave you a level of grace. You can ruin that with talking like this crazy because those girls are struggling to pay their bills. Those girls can't even get ads with the local used car dealership, okay? They can't even get a get an endorsement with a dry cleaners. <laughs> like, seriously, man. And you got all these endorsements, dozens of endorsements that you, you got the money you made in college. You came into the league rich. A lot of these girls weren't around, were, were out of college before NIL. So take Asia, for example. She she came out 2017, right? <laughs> there was no NIL back then. Diana Taurasi, what, 2004? There was no NIL back then. Brianna Stewart, what, 2016? There was no NIL back then. Okay? And then a lot of your counterparts that came out with you, they weren't popping enough to get no NIL. So they might have got, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars from the collective, or you know what I'm saying, a hundred thousand dollars from the from the collective that they have with the colleges that they pay the players with now, but they weren't getting NIL name is your likeness like you. So you gotta be careful, Angel. 
Them girls can turn on you just like that over jealousy. If you know they're jealous snakes, you know this better than anyone. You're you're there with them. Why? It's almost as if you're taunting them. It's almost as if you're taunting them, Angel. Yeah, I think it takes your card out. Yeah, I ain't doing it that thing. Oh, when is that other hot tea coming out? That's sad because that really shows you, like, obviously you're fortunate to be in a good where situation. you have other I know. streams of income, but think about how many people don't and have to actually live off that. I know. <laughs> and thank for her personal assistant to, you know, remind her, man, because Angel's, she's a young girl. She got a nice body. She got a bunch of money. She's just hanging with Lotto and other rapper Cardi B. And she's here at the Met Gala. She's there at this thing. She's at this concert. She's all over the place. She's in, she would flow over to Europe during the Olympics to watch the Olympics. She's jet setting all over the world. She's in seen her at different resorts and on the Caribbean and stuff like that. And She's dating this ball player and blah, blah, blah. So she's moving around, okay? She's moving around. Salute to her. I think that's what you should do when you're 20 and you have a bunch of money. You're a young, pretty girl. You got a bunch of money. You only live once. Not saying, do, but this type of talk. Don't talk it like this. Like this. And I'm glad her personal assistant Reminded of that other people in this league, I make more than a lot of WNBA players making videos about the WNBA. Okay? There's other YouTubers that I know make way more <laughs> than the WNBA players making videos about the WNBA. Caitlin Clark, yada, yada, yada. I really would hope Angel would stop doing this, man, because she's got a privilege that Caitlyn doesn't have. Caitlyn makes way more money than Angel, okay? Way more money. It's not even close. Okay, so one of the brands that Caitlyn endorses, one of her endorsements um, is... 28 million just one nike okay <laughs> so we don't even know how much money caitlin got okay and she's going to make much more every day every day she's you know she's the hottest thing out there in the sports world um no one even cares about the nba season this year they're just waiting for the next WNBA season She keeps her mouth shut about her money, and they still hate on her. There's nothing Caitlyn can do to make the girls in the WNBA like her. She can't do anything. She can play Caitlyn, them, pander them. She can she could do a Paige Becker speech. There's still it's never going to be enough. She could denounce trolls online <laughs> that she doesn't know. It's never going to be enough. Angel, you have privilege. They they not they don't treat you like that. They treat you a sister, you in the club. But you still like wood. So you got that against you. You like wood. Okay? <laughs> that's that's one thing that they, that is against you and and the WNBA has a history of not being friendly to girls that like wood. That's really sad. I wouldn't even be able to get a sandwich if I wanted to. Yeah, I, no, I wouldn't be able to eat. I wouldn't be able to live. Yeah. Like, yeah. especially in the city, like Chicago, yeah. New York, like that's crazy. And, and you make the same amount of money if you live in New York, California, which are the most expensive states. I know. Versus if you live in like, imagine Minnesota. Where, yeah. Like him and Ricky and the yeah. Yeah, and their Damn. tax rate is so much higher. And I want to live somewhere safe, so. So crazy. 
Crazy, 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 crazy. We're gonna get make more money though. We got big things coming. We got big things coming. We're and keep hating. I love. <laughs> yeah, and we know it. Like she's, if you, she's all over the place. She's meeting people. She's networking. So you know she's making deals. You know she's making a ton of money. She got a bunch of ton of things in the works. And I would just caution her. You're talking to, listen, the dude with the weight, he don't come out there on the block with the little <laughs> street urchins, the little skinny jeans dudes hanging on the block. He don't come out there and catch sales on the block. The dude with the weight don't come out on the block and catch sales with them, man. He ain't chasing down sales on the block. Because he know that that's going to make dudes hate him. You got to. Angel. You got to be smarter than this, man. I'm, a lot of people say I hate Angel. Or I be hating on Angel because I. Um, I criticize of some of the things she do. Just like Joe Budden recently did. I, I criticize some of the things. Because she does a lot of things that are worthy of criticism. It is true. It's a fact. But I do not hate her. I I hope that she does well. She's the girl next door in Baltimore. Just like Caitlin's the girl next door in Iowa, this is the girl next door if you live in Baltimore. This is the girl next door if you live in Chicago. That's the girl next door. Okay? She went to college, got her degree, played sports, and then you got all the other stuff with her. In the comment section, hit the like button. Peace. I'm out of here.